The presidential candidates dared reporters to fact check them, and we did. We found both of them stretched the truth, and they both denied saying things they'd said in the past. Juliana Goldman in Washington has the facts for us. Juliana, good morning. Good morning. Well, Trump once again claimed he couldn't release his tax returns because they're being audited and that he never supported the Iraq war, both false. And with a potentially record audience last night, both candidates also made new questionable statements on other matters, including trade and ISIS. Well, you're telling the enemy everything you want to do. No, we're not. See, you're no, telling the not. enemy everything we you are, want to do. Well, no wonder you've fighting. been fighting. No wonder you've been fighting ISIS your Folks. entire adult life. Al-Qaeda in Iraq is the group that eventually became ISIS. It was formed in 2004, after Hillary Clinton had been a senator for three years. Law and order. Clinton and Trump also sparred over tactics to fight crime in the U.S. Stop and frisk was ruled unconstitutional in New York because it, it largely singled out black and Hispanic young men. No, it, you're wrong. Uh, it went before a judge who was a very against police judge. Uh, it was taken away from her. Not quite. In 2013, a district judge ruled it was unconstitutional, saying stop and frisk violated the amendments on unreasonable searches and equal protections. Now you want to approve Trans-Pacific Partnership. Clinton downplayed her past support for the trade deal when she was Secretary of State. That is just not accurate. I. Uh, was against it once it was finally negotiated and the terms were laid out. I wrote about that in... You called it the gold I, I standard. About, well, I hope... You called I, it the gold standard of trade and, deals. The New York Times backed up Trump's claims and says Clinton spoke out more than 40 times in favor of the TPP. Clinton also raised the issue of how Trump treats the women who work for him. This is a man who has called women pigs, slobs, and dogs. And someone who has said pregnancy is an inconvenience to employers. Trump denied the charge. But according to a 2004 interview, on the question of maternal leave, he said, quote, whether people want to say that or not, the fact is it is an inconvenience for a person that is running a business. Clinton dinged Donald Trump for previously saying that global warming is a hoax perpetuated by the Chinese. Now, he denied this, but did tweet it in 2012. Clinton also says her jobs plan will create 10 million jobs and cites Moody's analytics. But, Charlie, those figures are based on Congress fully cooperating, a tall order for whoever becomes the next president. Thanks, Juliana.